friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a card using several different Lawn Fawn sets. I'm using the little puppy from Bicycle Built For You, and the box and bow from Holiday Helpers, and then the ball from Critters at the Dog Park. And then on a second sheet of cardstock, I'm going to be stamping out several images from Critters at the Dog Park, and I'm going to keep shifting those until I've filled up my entire background. I want to create my own pattern paper today, and to fill in some of the spots between the images, I'm taking a little paw print from Critters at the Dog Park and stamping that out in some manatee ink all around that panel. And then I've also got a tiny heart from Bicycle Built For You, and I'm going to stamp that in ballet slippers ink. So I'm just trying to spread those out equally. I'm letting some of them run off the side of the paper just so that it looks like, um, you know, like it was cut from a larger piece. And I'm not worrying as much about that center area since that is going to get completely covered up later with the focal panel. So I'm just going to fill that in until I'm satisfied and then I'll move on to Copic coloring. The first combo that I'm using is my favorite red combo, which is R29, R39, and R59. I'm going to color in the full one there that does not run off the side of the page, but in order to do that, I need to turn my paper slightly. So don't be afraid to do that if you need to, to get comfortable. Um, Copic coloring is supposed to be relaxing, so make sure that your body is at ease when you're doing that. So you want your arm to be in the most comfortable position possible. So for me, I shifted that to the right, and then I'm starting with my shading with the R59. Also on the right-hand side, I'm going to have my light source over on the left. I'm using the R39 to pull that color towards the center, and then I'm going to fill in the rest of that space with that really nice and bright R29. And I'm just going to color one of each of these images on screen and then I'll do the rest off screen to save you some time. The next combo that I'm using is BO2, BO4, and BO6. I'm starting with the BO6 and I'm going to color in the little water bowl. And again, I'm going to do all my shading on the right hand side. So I started with that BO6 and then blended out with the BO4. I'm going to save quite a bit of room for that B02 because I want a nice strong highlight. Now these colors were a little bit too similar for me and I wanted a little more contrast so I am going back in with that B06 and adding a stronger uh, shadow and then blending that out with the B04. For the little bows I'm using RV21, RV23, and RV25. I'm using the RV25 in the center. This is, I think, the only image that I'm not shading right to left, and that's because the bow would be darkest where it's knotted. And then for the little dog bone, I started out with E31 doing some shadow, and it wasn't quite dark enough, so I decided to color it solid with the E31, and then I'll bring in the E33 for a little bit of shadow. For the tennis ball, I'm using B34, B37, and B39. Starting with that B39, again on the right hand side, and then pulling that towards the left with the B37, and filling in with the B34. So the background is finished, I can set that aside, and I've also colored my other images to match. All that's left is the puppy, which I will be coloring to look like our new puppy. And this is her, so I'm going to set this picture off to the side as I color, and I will leave the marker caps up for you guys to see what I'm doing so you can follow along. But um, I just wanted to share our good news with you guys. So yes, we are getting a puppy. Um, actually, by the time this video comes out, she'll be home. Uh, we're getting her May 2nd. Uh, so I know a lot of you guys... Um, were there with me when we lost our last dog, Zadie, um, the week before Christmas. And um, it was a really hard emotional time. And a lot of you guys were so kind to share your condolences and sympathy. And um, we really appreciated that. 
So it was a difficult winter um, because we're just a family that loves pets and specifically dogs. But towards the spring, we realized that we were ready to open our hearts to a new little love. And we decided specifically that we wanted a puppy because we adopted our previous dog as a senior and uh, we loved her to pieces. But uh, our boys had never had a puppy. I hadn't had a puppy since I was a very small little girl. Um, my husband hadn't had a puppy since he was a young boy. And our oldest son is going to be a senior in the fall. So it was kind of our last chance to have a puppy as a family. So I did a ton of research and we ended up going with an Australian Shepherd. Um, it was a breed that I had been uh, in love with for a really long time and I definitely wanted an active breed. Um, we love to take our dogs hiking. That's one of the ways that we bond as a family and uh, I do have three teenage boys who are very active and they wanted a dog that could keep up with them and really play hard and learn all kinds of cool tricks and all those things that an Australian Shepherd is known for. So this is Gemma. I've colored her to match as best I could and now I'm going to trim these out with the matching dies. For my focal panel I've trimmed out three pieces of cardstock. The pink is using the fancy scalloped circle stackables and then the blue is just the stitched circle stackables and the gray is the same. I just cut it out of the top of the piece of cardstock so that it has a line so that I could create a floor. And I'm going to take the little puppy and insert her into the box. There's a separate die that uh, die cuts the inside of the box so that you can slide something inside. So I'm going to add her and just tape her into place with a little piece of post-it tape so that uh, she won't shift around too much. I can uh, still adjust her a little bit as needed. Um, I want to add the ribbon to the top of the box. I want to have the puppy looking like she's popping out of the box, so I want to attach that now. And then I'm going to adhere her to the scene first, uh, just using a little bit of liquid glue using the Lawn Fawn glue tube. So I'm going to have her a little bit shifted to the left, and then the top of the box I'm going to put as an, at an angle behind her. So I'm going to just lift her up carefully and tuck that behind. And I realized at this point that the scene was going to be a little bit empty. There wasn't quite enough to fill it up. So I added a little teddy bear from Holiday Helpers. It's the same set as the box and the bow. And I just colored that with some very light pink colors and shifted that over to the right hand side. And then I'm gonna tuck in the blue tennis ball right underneath the teddy bear. For my focal panel, I've popped another piece of that pink cardstock into my Misty, and I'm gonna stamp out a new baby to love. And that comes from the Rub-A-Dub-Dub -dub stamp set. So I just have that in Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm also going to stamp on the inside of my card while I've got my Misty out and for that I'm using bubblegum ink and I'm using one of the dogs from Critters at the Dog Park and then the puppy as well and then my sentiments I'm going to uh, do some selective stamping so it says I'm a lucky duck and I removed the duck by just putting a little piece of post-it tape and stamped mom instead and then under that I'm stamping I can't thank you enough and that is from the reveal wheel sentiments so this card will be going to our puppy's breeder to thank her for all the loving care that she's given our puppy so far and yes we did go with a breeder I checked rescues first but I couldn't find an Australian Shepherd in a rescue anywhere nearby at the time so we ended up going with a breeder but uh, my mom used to be a dog breeder as well when I was a little girl, and I'm completely comfortable with that. Um, we did rescue our previous dog. I'm sure we will rescue again. We fully support rescuing, um, but this time we just wanted that specific breed. So we went with a lovely lady who, uh, along with her family, has a, an entire ranch devoted to raising Australian shepherds for pets. So anyway, I'm adding my focal panel to my card with some foam tape 
And then I've also got some foam tape on the back of my sentiment, which I trimmed down with an Everyday Sentiments banner. So I'm just making sure that I'm happy with the placement, and then I'll press that down into place as well. To finish off the card, I'm going to take three tiny pink hearts trimmed out from the same cardstock as the card base and the background of the focal panel and the sentiment strip. And I'm going to get my placement right on those and then I will lift them up carefully and add a dab of glue with that glue tube and then just set them back into place. And that's going to complete my card for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I wanted to thank you so much for your support, both um, with our sorrow over losing Zadie and our joy with getting Gemma. Um, I know a lot of you have been following already on Instagram. She does have her own Instagram just because I needed a place to share pictures without um, filling up my crafty page with those. So if you love cute puppy pictures, I'll go ahead and put her handle in the description bar and you can feel free to follow if you like. So if you enjoyed today's card, or if you just like puppies, you can give the video a thumbs up, and you can subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Here's two extra videos I thought might also interest you, so if you'd like to keep on watching, go ahead and click either one of those. I want to thank you guys so much again. I really appreciate all of you. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.